Welcome to Workday Recruiting, Creating and Updating Job Postings. In this session, we'll explore how to create and update job postings. Job postings are essential for attracting qualified candidates. They're how a company showcases available positions to potential applicants. Posting jobs to external and internal career sites is a key component of reaching prospective talent. In Workday, you can only post open jobs or evergreen requisitions. You can use the View Job Requisition Report to view a requisition. From the Job Postings tab of a requisition, you have the option to manually post and unpost a job. After you create a job posting, from the Post Job task, you can indicate which career sites you want to advertise your job. Let's review an example. Here, we have a new job requisition. Notice that I've added both internal and external career sites in the job posting site field. Select the preview job posting checkbox and then select the OK button. On the next page, the job posting description for each job posting displays. This is the point where you can make edits to this information. Just select the edit job requisition button and make your edits before posting. Once you've made any needed modifications, you may proceed to the next page, which allows you to control posting start and end dates for each job posting. This controls when your job appears on career sites. A posting end date causes a job post to automatically unpost on that date. Whether posting a job internally or externally, the requisition is effective dated. If you're posting to multiple external sites, Workday uses a primary posting option. This option determines which career sites link Workday uses in notifications sent from the Refer a Candidate task. So now we know how to post a job opening in Workday, but what about unposting them? While individual unposting is an option, Workday lets you choose to unpost in mass. From the Job Postings tab, you can select the checkbox next to each job posting and then select the Unpost Jobs button at the bottom of the page to immediately unpost the jobs. Optionally, you could also choose an individual job to unpost from here as well. Sometimes, your job requisitions may have more than one opening. Don't immediately unpost a job when you hire the first of multiple candidates. Keeping it posted allows additional candidates to enter the candidate pool to fill the remaining openings. Depending on your Workday setup, the system can automatically remove a job posting from all career sites once you make a hiring decision. This can occur from the following recruiting steps. Screen, assessment, interview, reference check, offer, employment agreement, background check, and ready for hire. The automatically unpost jobs step determines how many openings remain open on the job requisition. This step uses the following two rules. First, if only one opening remains, Workday removes all related job postings on all career sites, including both current and future dated listings. Second, if more than one job opening remains, the job posting stays posted. However, if there's ever a need to unpost a job early, you can still manually unpost jobs. You can also update a job posting quickly. Use the Update Job Posting task to extend a posting date, add a posting end date to a job posting, and update the start and end dates of a future dated job posting. However, Please note that any changes made using the Update Job Posting task will not update any content within the job posting. To update content, you'll have to unpost, make your changes, and then repost the job. You can perform the Update Job Posting task from the Job Postings Related Actions, the Update Job Posting task, or the Actions menu in the Job Postings tab of a job or evergreen requisition. Let's review a job posting update now. Meet Carmen Cortez, a primary recruiter for Global Modern Services. 
The hiring manager for one of her requisitions has decided to add another qualification to the job description. The manager also wants to extend the internal job posting end dates. Carmen will update the job posting as requested. For this example, as Carmen, I've navigated to the job posting tab of a job posting that I'd like to update. If I select the actions button for any of the postings, I can view two options, update job posting and view job posting details. Since I need to make an update to the internal posting end dates, I'll choose the update job posting option. Unfortunately, this option only allows me to update the end date. I can't make any changes to the job description itself. Recall that to update content, you have to unpost the job, make changes to the requisition, and then repost the job to the desired sites. To do this, I'll start from the Job Postings tab and select the checkboxes for all the sites where the job is posted. Then, I'll select the Unpost Jobs button to unpost this job. Next, I'd edit the job qualifications as requested. Finally, I'd repost the job to all of the desired sites. Let's not forget that I still need to extend the job posting date for the internal job posting. I'll again use the Actions button to view the Update Job Posting task. From there, I'll change the end date and then select Submit. On this date, the job requisition will automatically unpost from the external career site. Depending on your organization's tenant setup, the Job Postings tab displays current, future, and even past job postings. Think of it as your job posting timeline. Once you post a job, you might have the option to assign the job as a primary posting, update any forecasted agency payouts, update the job posting, and view the job posting details. Keep in mind that Workday locks any inactive historical job postings in read-only mode. This way, they're still visible as a reference. In this session, we discussed how managing job requisitions on your organization's career site is crucial for successful recruitment. Posting, unposting, and updating job requisitions ensure that candidates have access to the most accurate and relevant information. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.